Africa is the place to start to find a monkey on a fig tree eating the flower buds. Longer to jump and climb the trees and the grounds are where they spend their time. They got the long legs for the runway. They like to party, live with 50 group members. They are very unique. They are not sloppy, but a very sincere monkey. They watch out for their predators and they make long calls. Sometimes, two whistles. They even have blue testicles. They are very unique and very playful. They got a long tail. Sometimes, they like cocktails. They are pretty neat and clean. Spends a lot of time on grooming. Shiny is their hair. Olive or silver gray is their hair color. They jump, they climb, they walk, they swim. They are none other than the Barbets Monkeys, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that was the introduction for me about the Barbet Monkey. Hope it was a fun one. Now, let's dive into the details about the Barbet. Let's first look at the taxa. The barbets are under this Thercopacidia family, as they are the old world primates. Barbets are under Haplorine suborder, as they do not have wet nose, they have dry nose. Barbets genus name is Chlorocebus because they are medium sized primates from the old world, and the barbet species name is Chlorocebus pygotherus. If we take a look at the barbet's features, they have gray or olive slash golden coats. Their face is black. The barbet has white band on the forehead, blends with short whiskers. They have long black tail. The male usually weigh more than female. If we take a look at the sexual dimorphism, uh, female perineum is pink, vulvar area blue then they have lack of perineal stripe on the other hand male scrotum is turkish blue surrounded by white hair red tail at the tail base perianal skin and have red penis has white perineal stripe and the brighter the genitalia color are the more higher rank they would be in social group Okay, now let's look at where the vervet monkey live. They live in all over sub-Saharan area of Africa. The eastern and southern part of Africa, countries such as Ethiopia, Tanzania, Zimbabwe, Kenya, etc. The vervets live in savanna and grassland area with sparse forests and nearby rivers. They sleep in large trees, but they roam around the ground. They can't even swim in the river, a monkey with various talents. But unfortunately, there is not not much reports of them using any tools. The female barbet monkey lives in her natal group all of her life. Male transfer to different group to avoid aggression with own group members and also mating with family. Like humans, in barbet social life, they also got hierarchy and through hierarchy, their mating, their fighting, friendship, survival, eating, all get control. Barbet monkey like to stay clean, so they groom each other by removing parasite, dirt, and other material from one another far. According to the hierarchy, the more dominant the member is, they receive more grooming. The body posture communicate as show aggression and submission accordingly. Red monkey lives with 30 to 50 group members that really help them to uh, be safe from the predators because they make long calls. The barbet monkey's predators are python, hyena, eagle, cheetah, etc. And their long call vary according to the predator. If there is an eagle, the long call would be made and they will all look up to the sky. But for the cheetah, the long call would be different which would make them go up to the tree. That means the varvets react and communicate through long calls. Let's hear how varvet monkey's long call sounds for an eagle. Now let's look at varvet monkey's diet. Varvet monkeys are mostly vegetarian. They mostly eat wild fruits, flower, roots, bulbs, leaves, seeds, seed pods, but sometimes they eat insects, grubs, eggs, baby birds, uh, rodents, lizards. The varvet females give birth around the age of five. 
the gestation period is five months and the offspring born when there is more food, usually after the rainy season. There is no sexual swelling in the varvet monkeys. And the babies will ride around with their mother. The varvet babies are very interesting. They are dark and they have a pink face. The babies are played and also cared by other female members of the group. The mothers of the varvet baby is very protective of them and the mother social hierarchical status also apply to the babies. The varvet monkeys, they live around 12 years in the wild and 24 years in the captivity. The varvets are very playful. Sometimes they live near by the urban area and has interference with humans. Sometimes they're seen as pests as they can cause serious crop damages. There are two similarities between human and varvets. This animal has the same dental formula as human. 2123 slash 2123 and a close resemblance in root shape and periodontinium formation. So our teeth and varvet teeth are similar. Another thing is they also have color vision like us, which help them to distinguish if the fruit is ripe or not. The varvets are very popular. They're not endangered monkey. However, their population is declining. They have roles in our ecosystem. They act as an agent for seed dispersal. The varvet been using for scientific research and they are still used to produce vaccine for uh, polio and smallpox. The varvets are also being used for HIV and high blood pressure research. Varvet monkeys are part of the nature and they also helped us with very many scientific research. Varvet monkeys are one of my favorite monkeys. And now if I ever go to sub-Saharan area of Africa, I can definitely tell which one is a varvet and their characteristic, their behavior and their lifestyle. This is for today. Signing off, Lynette Toscano. Thank you for listening.